Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And today, I'm not doing it alone. We have a feature today with no one other than Sterizium. Now today, we are going to teach you eight different transitions that are so simple that you don't even need presets for them. So without any further ado, let's get started and fire up Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's start with a visual transition that depends on your shots. When transitioning from one shot to another, look for a second shot with visual elements like rocks, trees, or other objects. Now place the two shots behind each other, then duplicate the second clip and freeze frame the first frame. Now place that above the end of the first video track. Then we're going to take our time and properly mask around an object. Now this can also be a rock, a billboard, a person, whatever. If there are multiple objects on screen, you can duplicate the layer and mask these objects as well. Okay, once you've masked your object, nest the layer and go to the effect panel. Take the transform effect and drag it onto your nested layer. Then go to the effect controls panel and deselect the composition shutter checkbox. Set a custom one of 180. Then animate the object so that it pops on screen. You can do this by placing keyframes for the position property. Now don't forget to ease your keyframes once you've made this animation. Now you can make this longer by dragging the layer more over the first video of course. And if you have multiple objects, try and play around with different speeds and different directions. And as a finishing touch, you can always right click on the cut between the two video clips and add a cross dissolve. But make it quite short. And this will give you this result. Hey Jill, thanks for having me on your channel, it's awesome to be here. The next transition is one of my personal favorites and I like to call it the glow transition. It's a little similar to the dip to white effect that is built into Premiere, but also a little different. Anyway, you'll see. Inside Premiere, we're going to use these two clips on the timeline for the demo. I'm going to start by adding an adjustment layer. You can do this in the project panel, click on the new icon and then select adjustment layer. You can accept the default settings and click OK. We can now drag the adjustment layer over to the timeline and place them on top of the two clips. Of course, you can choose any duration for the transition, but in this case I'll go for 2 seconds. And I also want the adjustment layer part on the second clip to be a little longer than the part on the first clip. Next, we're going to add an effect. In the effects panel, we're going to search for the proc amp effect. You can find this one under video effects adjust. I will apply the effect to the adjustment layer and then make sure that the playhead is right between the two clips. Next, select the adjustment layer and then head over to the effects control panel. And in here, I'm going to enable keyframes for proc amp brightness. You can enable keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch icon. And that created the first keyframe with value 0. We're going to move that one to the beginning of the transition. Next, I'm going to increase the brightness until the picture is barely visible. Most of the times, this will be somewhere around 90 to 95%. Then move a couple of frames forward and create another keyframe with a value of 0. And move that keyframe to the end of the transition. And that is how I create a glow transition. I hope you like it, let's have a look at the results. Now that's awesome Sterizium. Now let's move on to our third transition, which is going to be a super simple effect, but it's a fun one to use in music videos. From the project panel, go to the new item icon and create an adjustment layer. Place it above the cut of your two clips and make it 10 frames long on each side of the cut. Then head over to the effects panel and look for the lens distortion effect. Apply it to that adjustment layer and from the effect controls panel set a keyframe on the curvature property at the beginning. Then in the middle make it 100 and at the end make it back to 0. Don't forget to ease the keyframes. Looks quite nice, but let's make it a bit more dreamy. Now from the effects panel, look for the invert effect and apply it to this adjustment layer as well. Now set the channel to quadrature, chrominance and animate the blending from 100 to 0 in the middle and then back to 100. And this will give you this awesome result. <laughs> Hey guys, Jill from the future here. If you want access to even more awesome transitions, like for instance, earthquake transitions, glitch transitions, and so much more, then head over to premierbasics.net. That's right, 
that's our website. You can have access to amazing video packs, so not only transitions, but also particles, effects, and so much more. And we also have a whole bunch of classes on there where you can learn even more about Adobe Premiere Pro, color grading, or Adobe After Effects. So make sure to go to premierebasics.net, first link in the description down below. And now, let's proceed to the next transition. Woo! For the next transition, I've got these two clips ready on the timeline. I like to call this one the drawing transition. And for this one, we also need an adjustment layer. I'll use the adjustment layer that we created before and then drop this on top of the two clips. I found that this transition works well when it's about one and a half seconds long. But of course, you can pick a duration that works best for your footage. Next, I'm going to move it on top of the two clips and make sure that it's somewhat equal on both sides. In the next step, we're going to add an effect. In the effects panel, we're going to search for an effect named Find Edges. You can find this one under Video Effects Stylize. I'm going to add this effect to the adjustment layer, and as you can see, this creates a bit of a drawing or a sketching look. In the next steps, we're going to adjust the effect in the effects control panel. I'm going to start by enabling keyframes for Blend with Original by clicking on the stopwatch icon. I'm going to move that first keyframe to about 35% of the transition and then create another keyframe with the same value and then put this one on about 70% completion. And then we need to create two more keyframes with the value 100% and then put these two at the beginning and the end. And also here, we're going to make it a bit more smoother by right-clicking on the first keyframe and then select Ease Out. And then right-click on the middle keyframes and select Bezier. And for the last keyframe, we'll select Ease In. And if I now open up the graph, you can see that there's a nice curve. This will give more smoothness to the animation. In some cases, mainly depending on the footage, the cut between the clips might still feel a bit rough. But you can fix this by adding a simple cross-dissolve effect between the two clips. This will make it blend a lot better. And that is all you need to know to create this awesome drawing transition. Let's have a look at the final result. Wow, that was awesome! Now guys, if you want to see our next four transitions, then head over to Sterisium's account. The video is also linked in our credit scene, so go ahead and look at those other transitions if you want to master all of them. I'll see you guys next week for a new live stream and a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative!